know, there's no better place in the world to watch whales than these beautiful waters off Lahaina, Maui. Aloha, I'm Jim Kuhn with Trilogy Excursions. We're Maui's oldest sailboat company, and whale watching has sure seen a lot of changes over the years here off Maui. In the 19th century, when Lahaina was the whaling capital of the world for recreation for the whalers, when they would come here, these waters were filled with whaling ships coming from the Kamchatka Sea and the northern waters where they'd been hunting whales. Up until today's eco-friendly whale watching tours where you can go out on beautiful vessels and get some of the very finest whale watching in the world. In a relatively recent development in the history of whales and whaling has been the development of the Hawaiian Islands Humpback Whale National Marine Sanctuary. The sanctuary is a protected area that encompasses virtually all the water surrounding Maui, literally hundreds of miles of habitat where whales can breed and calve and have a place of safety to spend the winter months. And they've come down from Alaska and the feeding grounds. I'm here with Alan Tom and David Matilla from the Office of National Marine Sanctuaries to talk a little bit about the sanctuary and the impact that it has here in Hawaiian waters. The Hawaiian Islands Humpback Whale National Marine Sanctuary was created because this is a very special place. The humpback whale is still an endangered animal and there's very few places in the world where you can come and see these magnificent creatures and their calves right offshore. Trilogy and uh, your leadership, Jim, has been actually instrumental in helping create this sanctuary. What we're finding is that year after year the animal population seems to be increasing, which is a good sign. So what you're going to see here when you go out into our waters is a lot of activity, a lot of humpback whales, a lot of calves a lot of male and female escorts, a lot of activity happening here off the waters off of Maui. You see so many whales out here uh, sort of going about their activities that they've become so used to the boats. They have naturalists on board that really help interpret and make that experience for people going out on the water and into the sanctuary that much more special. We have David Matilla here from the Humpback Whale Sanctuary. He's the research coordinator. He can explain a little bit more about some of the scientific research going on in the sanctuary. Thanks, Alan. Uh, actually, uh, Hawaiian Islands and the, and the sanctuary here is the premier place in the world to study humpback whales. Uh, and for the same reasons that it's a premier place to see humpback whales, there, there are a growing number of whales, they're close to shore, and they're in very clear, calm waters most of the time. So it's been the epicenter uh, for the study of the behaviors like singing and mating of uh, the humpback whales that come here. We initiated uh, the largest research project ever undertaken uh, and to study humpback whales in the entire North Pacific and found just how important uh, Hawaii is uh, to the humpback whales of the entire North Pacific. The whales coming here are not only just coming from Alaska, that's the majority, but they also come from Far East Russia and uh, uh, British Columbia. So we've had an international group of whales that come here. Of course, we know they're all Hawaiian because they're born here. The whales uh, come here from all these northern feeding areas and they're actually fasting for the whole time that they're here. They're not eating anything. Uh, but what they're interested in is each other. Uh, the females are looking for uh, calm, clear, warm waters to give birth to their young. And the males, of course, are looking for females. I've had the good fortune in my career to study humpback whales almost all over the world and I can assure you this is the primary uh, breeding ground for humpback whales in the world. This is the best place in the world to come and see them, to come and study them. Uh, it's a remarkable spot. Oh yeah, I mean, you can see the eyes open right now looking right at you. 
And to ensure the long-term survivability of the sanctuary, Trilogy is donating a portion of all their whale watch proceeds to the sanctuary and to its well-being. Trilogy was the first corporate sponsor of the sanctuary, and we are committed as a company for its long-term survival. So on behalf of Trilogy, I'd like to invite you to join us and play an active part in supporting these magnificent humpback whales and the Hawaiian Islands Humpback Whale National Marine Sanctuary. Now get out there and enjoy these beautiful creatures and the most beautiful waters on the planet and enjoy a once in a lifetime experience. Aloha.